So here we are folks with match 41, it is Serbia up against Brazil. So Serbia's start 11 is like this, Stojkovic in goal, Nastasic, Kolarov, Rukafina, Ivanovic, Bajasa, Tadic, Matic, Tosic, Mitrovic and Pavlovic up front. As for Brazil, Alisson, Silva, Marcelo, Alves, Luiz, Diego, Arthur, William, Coutinho, Neymar and Firmino up front. So here we are folks, match number 41. Serbia in a traditional red jersey up against Brazil in their traditional yellow jerseys. Yeah, bluish kind of turquoise kind of pants. And this group is Group E. And it is pretty evenly poised. It's kind of all up for grabs. Winner of this game has a good chance of getting themselves through. In fact, they will go through. Winner of this will go through. However, a draw will eliminate Serbia. I believe. In fact, I have no idea. I don't know if a draw will eliminate Serbia because this is this is a situation where both teams have scored the same goals. Both teams have conceded the same amount of goals. Um, yes, it's it's yucky. So I'm hoping for a goal or a winner. So it makes my math a little bit easier. As Brazil look to try and get that winner. Um, as for the other teams in this group, Switzerland and Costa Rica. Costa Rica are all but out. I think, in fact, they are out due to the fact that these two sides are playing each other and whatever happens, it's going to add points to Brazil or Serbia as Brazil look to try and get... Oh, it's hit the woodwork. A beautiful strike, but a, a defeat. Like like I was saying, the, 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 there's, there's points on the board here. There's either a point each, which would uh, completely eliminate Costa Rica, or a win for either side. So Switzerland are there. Switzerland are through. So their match against Costa Rica is kind of like a dead rubber, to be honest with you. It's just a matter of where they're going to finish. Brazil looking, probing, trying to find that opening. They've had a couple of good opportunities already, that one that hit the board. But if you're new to this channel and new to this setup here, this little experiment we're doing, we do play two four-minute halves, just to let you know about the, uh, the length of a half. And uh, what I've done is I've, I've completely revamped the FIFA 95 uh, players rosters, team rosters, kind of we kind of tweaked it somewhat as Brazil looking for that opener uh, for an experiment here to try and bring up the uh, the retro 16-bit classic to the present day. You know, because I'm a big fan of FIFA 95. I remember buying the game uh, when I was younger, back in 94. Um, in Lancashire, I do recall, and that ball goes out for a throw. Serbia looking for some bit of possession to get themselves in this game. Because, like I said, this this game is a crucial game to decide who's going to go through a draw. Would see, according to my things, I don't know if it will do any favours. A draw would make it very, very hard to figure out who's going through so I'm hoping for a winner either way as Serbia starting to get a good feel for the ball but it's broken up now and here come Brazil long ball Serbia now good bit of passing good shot the keeper makes a strong save but Switzerland have upset the odds here let's just recap some of the score line. in fact we'll wait we'll wait to the second half because we are edging closer to uh, to the half Brazil probing once again. Serbia doing just enough. At the moment, just enough. Punted four. Can he get a striker? And he does. It goes in the back of the net, but it's just too little too late. Oh, nil nil at half time. Serbia against Brazil. Let's just recap some of the score lines that have already occurred in this group in Group E. So Serbia opened up their account with a 2 0 win over Costa Rica before Brazil coming to a surprise defeat up against Serbia. Then Brazil took on Costa Rica and they won 2-1 before Serbia lost 
to those powerhouses, those surprise packages, Switzerland. Uh, and we're still yet to find out the result of the Switzerland-Costa Rica game that is on this channel. And if you want to find out the result, the quickest way and easiest way to do that is hit the subscribe button. It'll keep you paying up to date with all things that are happening with my FIFA 95 experiment as we try to uh, uh, kind of bring it back old school, play retro football a little bit with this classic 16-bit edition. I love this game. Uh, but anyway, these two sides in the real world have met uh, on one occasion before, and that was a friendly. Uh, Brazil won it, and that was back in 2014, 6th of June, and the result was 1-0. Um, but yes, did I say that this match will take place on the 27th of June at the Okorite Arena in Moscow? I don't think I did, and it will actually take place the same time and same date as the Switzerland versus Costa Rica match, as, uh, as all the last group games uh do because it kind of keeps you kind of guessing and the uh the results or the outcome of this group let's say for example switzerland currently are going through as group winners they will face the runner-up in group f as for the runner-up of this will take the winner and group f and group f consists of germany mexico uh, sweden and south korea i don't know the permutations of that group because i don't have those details to hand uh, but again, if you want to know, the quickest and easiest way to do is hit the subscribe button, baby. I'm not going to keep on thramming that down your throat. As Brazil need to find a goal. Do they need to find a goal? I don't. Again, I don't know. I don't know. I think a draw. I'm just trying to look at the thing. Because of the goal difference, it's exactly the same. The, these two are playing against each other. I think Brazil, Serbia have a clean sheet. So I think... I think Serbia might, might shade it, to be honest with you. I think Serbia will shade it. So a draw will be not good enough for Brazil. They need to find a winner. Come on. And there's a strike. I just want somebody to win so it's an outright, clear uh, victory or an, an, a decision to send the next team through. Now, if you remember playing this game way back when, let me know in the comments section below. I'm, I'm, I'm interested to hear your thoughts and if you're interested if you, if you just like the idea of the 16-bit uh, version of, of what everyone else is doing out there because everyone else is checking out the old the FIFA 2018 versions of the of the World Cup and I just thought you know I want to do something a little bit different because I loved this game um, when it came out this was this was uh, obviously FIFA has evolved I think even the old 16-bit there was FIFA 98 um, was also pretty kick-ass because you can play uh, indoor football. You can even create your custom teams out of the box. And that's a foul if I ever saw. We may even get a yellow car for that bad boy. But no, here come Brazil. The last minute of the game. And in my calculations and my assumptions, it would mean that Brazil will be going out. Come on, just, just one goal. Just one goal to kind of... Go on, right here, right here, right here, right here, right now. Nope, nope, it's not happening. It's not happening. Come on, even Serbia. I just want one of you to score. So we know for sure who the real winner is. Because at the minute, it's I might be eliminating the wrong side. I don't know the, the rules for this. It's too tight. I, but I think because they have a clean sheet. Yeah, because Costa Rica scored one. Fact. Yeah. Uh, it's not looking good, folks. It looks like Brazil are joining the likes of Argentina and Portugal out of this World Cup. And there it is, Serbia nil, Brazil nil. And just a quick look at the statistics. There was uh, four shots by Brazil, only the one by Serbia. There was no scorers whatsoever. As for the discipline, no yellow cards. And after that result, here's an updated look at the table. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share and of course subscribe. Check back each and every day for some hot World Cup content.